Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the Nokia Expert site. I have in front of me the Nokia E73 mode that I already took you on a walkthrough. Now what I want to do is go through and show you some of the applications, uh, very minimal, that are included by T-Mobile and just kind of run you through them so you can make a decision whether you want to uh, remove them or pay for them. Now what we'll see is we jump into menu uh, by default, you'll see there's a visual voicemail on the top right. That's free uh, service. If we go to media, you'll see that podcasting is included on the E73 mode, which is nice. And then audio postcards, which is a T-Mobile application, which allows you to take a picture. And then you can apply. See if I just did take a picture here. Just real quick. I didn't want to really focus on anything. And then I select that picture. And then you can add... As you'll see, some different postcard uh, themes to the outside of it, and then send that along to people. Kind of a fun little uh, utility that I've seen on other devices before, and um, something that T-Mobile includes. So then we go back here, and we go to the control panels, nothing different. Uh, Office, these are just your standard Office apps, which on the E73 mode, there's quite a few great ones, like Multi-Scanner, Quick Office, the full version. OV files, so on and so on. I've got a list of these in my review as well, we have most of them. OV Store, the nice thing about the OV Store on T-Mobile is that T-Mobile allows carrier billing. So you can just have uh, any apps that you purchase billed right to your T-Mobile bill. So let's go into applications where you'll see there's some differences. That Facebook, Twitter, MySpace are all just mobile links to internet. Um, when I customize this device, I will actually get rid of those more than likely. The Google is the, uh, we'll see here, is the short Google link here to get you to all of the uh, quick links to the Google stuff. And we got OB Maps, of course, YouTube, now, and then we got email, clock. So the new things that we have, um, that I'll show you and where you also see telenav. Um, I actually removed that already and for some reason when I hard reset it did not come back That is the telenav GPS navigator software Which you can get a day pass for $2.99 or a monthly $9.99 fee uh, With OB maps and Google maps. I didn't feel a need to have it on the uh, e73 mode uh, another application that you can get is where and I'll launch it so here's where and you can use it to find um, find things. It uh, looks like a pretty nice application. The one thing is you can try it, as it says, for seven days free. Let's see if it uh, picked up that I'd already started it. So where's a nice easy way to find things? Um, you can use that same thing in OV Maps or in Google Maps even for a lot of this stuff, but it, the interface as you can see is a little bit easier to use. It is a uh, subscription fee as well, um, which I believe is $2.99 a month, and I'll have a breakdown of all this in my review, so it's, I'm not going to wait for that any longer. Let's go back. And then uh, we have Downloads, which is just uh, the interface to uh, T-Mobile's, I believe it's a Web2Go is what they call it. So this is kind of, this is T-Mobile's uh, application store and, and downloads. And so as you can see, you can, you can actually buy ringtones and pictures and themes and games and apps from T-Mobile directly and have that on the phone rather than just the OV store. Okay, And then uh, we look at uh, instant messaging. Now this is the instant messaging client that T-Mobile uses on a lot of phones. It's uh, instant messaging powered by Oz. And as you can see, you get uh, five different services you can choose from. And I believe that these are handled via instant messaging. Um, so if you have an unlimited, or, uh, excuse me, text messaging, so if you have a limited text, that's fine. But if you don't, you may want to check to make sure um, if this is via text or data. And I believe it is text. And that's kind of a nice client. I, I, I use it with Google and uh, Windows Live Messenger. And then we see games. Now, as you've seen so far, T-Mobile really hasn't uh, put much on there. Um, and in the games, they actually do put demos on here. However, what I found is you can actually uh, do options, remove, and at least remove them from view. And when you restart, they don't show up. If you do a hard reset, you can get these apps to, these games to re-show up in demo mode. But um, if you usually don't do a hard reset, you can actually hide them and then not see them for, uh, for any time. Now, I will have a list of all of these and what the subscription fees are uh, for them. Either some are subscription per monthly basis or some are one-time cost. I'll just kind of walk you through each of them so you can see what is loaded. I'll start with sound. This is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire 2010. 
on the E73 mode. No prizes are awarded for playing. So then you, there's a bunch of options. You can say play the demo. In a popular expression, what body part is referred to as the window of the soul? Eyes, ears, lips, or hands? I'll check eyes, final answer, yes. Correct. And then I bang three seconds. On a VCR or DVR, what does a pair of triangles pointing to the left symbolize? I will say rewind. Yes is my final answer. There we go. So that's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Kind of an enjoyable game if you're into that. Let's uh, go back. Whoops. I, I, uh, as you can see, the optical pad is going right now. I'm not that used to it. Now let's try Guitar Hero. This is... Uh, I'll say yes for sound. It might get a little loud here for a second. Guitar Hero 5 Mobile. I'll do the demo game. What songs we got in here? I'll use the I'll play the guitar. Connect to get a higher quality file. No, that's alright. I'll just play it for now. Play the purple bar note with a seven, eight, or nine. So here we go, seven, eight, or nine. As you can see, I'm not that good at uh, Guitar Hero, but uh, pretty easy to play, it looks like, on the E71, or E, excuse me, E73 mode. Um, and the, visual, the graphics weren't that bad either, so let's take a look. I'm not much of a gamer, especially on a device like uh, like a Nokia E-series, e where it's more focused on messaging and, and internet and things like that. This is, what is this one? Game was designed to take advantage of the accelerometer mode. I'll go ahead and enable sounds. Maybe. There we go. Block Breaker 2 Deluxe. Quite loud, so I'll turn the volume down a little bit. How about that? That should be more acceptable. Your ball will burst into flames and be able to destroy normal bricks with one hit without changing direction when you get a fireball. Now, I may have to angle this to play the game. I'm not sure how the accelerometer on this game works. I haven't played this one yet.
as you can kind of see by moving the uh, device side to side, but it's hard to play when I'm looking at that side. So you can also move it with just the directional pad, so I'll do that way. Whoa, wasn't ready for the multi-ball. These games, even though they're old, are still kind of uh, nice time wasters. All right, so that's a look at this game here. Actually, exit this time because I think I'm running a bunch of different versions of the last game as well. Okay, now we have uh, The Sims 3. This is again one of those games that I think you could play for quite a long time. You set up your sim, walk around the village, feed him, all that kind of stuff. It's nice to see the big names supporting games on uh, on the E series, though. At least it gives you the option to to play these games. This one I, I've played it a little bit already. It uh, kind of starts off as uh, as if it's not a demo. I'm just going to go ahead and do use the default. You can set up your sim, uh, jack of all trades, nice guy. I want to be a sleaze. Next, uh, good sense of humor. Friendly, how about that? Oh, we gotta pick five attributes. Active, slob, neat. Oh, not absent minded, genius. Neurotic, no, neat. Name, Palm Solo. Alright. Interesting how T-Mobile has a monthly charge for these games or a one-time charge, which really isn't that much different. So there you see, you just control where you want to go, point to the TV, it says I want to watch TV, so I'll go sit down and watch TV, turn it on, and you can watch your sim watch TV. Graphics are actually pretty good here, let's uh, click on the refrigerator, let's go have a snack. You see right there on the red, my sim is getting a little tired. It also says he's getting smelly, so let's uh, let's go over to the shower. Have him take a shower since he is smelly, and it'll show him walking through there. You see the stink behind him. I guess it's morning time, so he needs to take a shower before he starts his day. So that's a look at Sims 3. back back out of that okay let's jump into another game I'm trying to get through these for you just so you can get a sampling of what they're all about this one is uh, collapse chaos again I'll go ahead and enable the sounds whoops skip the intro play quest I don't even know what this game is about here Oh, I see. Okay, so we're trying to get these blocks that are matched up to disappear. This is kind of a cool. It's like a, um, a reverse of some other games that I've played before. I like this. This is one of those ones that I can't let my wife see because if she does, she will probably buy this one. Looks like you need three in a row, three of the blocks to uh, to remove them. Interesting. This is kind of a cool game. You may have to get get this one or look into this one. 
when I get my own E73 mode, that is. Alright, that's a cool game. I'll have to look at that one again. One more game to look at, and it's Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man. Pretty familiar to most people. So actually, some of these games have some nice demos, um, and they're, they're higher quality than I was imagining they would be. 30 years of Pac-Man in 2010. I'll go Pac-Man instead of Miss Pac-Man. Menu, buy, new game. Let's just say new game. Play a demo. Easy mode. That's good for me. I was trying the optical trackpad, which doesn't seem to work, actually. <sighs> Whoops. The joystick, though, works pretty well. Let's try, let's try another one. Oh, game over. That's my demo. Then you'd have to buy it. So that's a look at the games and apps um, that are included. And as you can see, there's not much included by T-Mobile. T-Mobile did a good job of keeping the uh, bloatware off of the device and uh, actually added some things that might be useful. The games are fairly enjoyable. Instant messaging is good. Um, and that's it. That's a look at some of the software on the Nokia E73 mode.